Guys, we got a ton of things to talk about in this video. Four different things, all right? The first thing is Neil made a massive announcement via their legal department to everyone, all right, including shareholders. And then the second news is something to do with a big government deal. We'll talk more about that. The third one is a very interesting product that I want to talk about. And then number four is some more information about the JC factory and my euphoric moment in this whole entire ordeal. All right. So first of all, they want a massive, massive award. And this is exactly what Neil's legal department said. All right. This. Recently, following the Shanghai R&D Center, Neil Hilfe R&D Center has also been officially listed as a National Intellectual Property Advantage Enterprise, reflecting the national recognition of Neil's full-stack technology R&D layout and innovation capabilities. Neil, with more than 10,000 researchers and with cooperation of Neil's scientific research team and intellectual property team, legal team, Neil has completed more than 7,500 patent layouts around the world covering intelligent driving, digital cockpit, inverter, motors, and battery technology, and exchanging and other fields. In order to pay tribute to legal practitioners, since this year, we have invited thousands of legal practitioners to Neil to understand and experience Neil's product and services, jointly discussing cutting edge legal issues in the intelligent electric vehicle industry, and specifically launch the exclusive right and interests of legal personnel. Neil is becoming a massive legal uh, patent powerhouse here in China. And, and this is a very, very important thing, valuable to both Neil and China. News article number two is, of course, Neil's uh, ES8 has been used, chosen to be a police car for Shanghai, which is pretty nice. I mean, uh, obviously, it's not a huge amount of orders, but it's definitely a move in the right direction. And it's not like... Uh, like a police patrol vehicle it's more like uh, uh, one of the vehicles that the higher up policemen uh, officials used for commuting and definitely this is a, a big step in the right direction it's getting more recognition even the police departments choose neo i mean like how much uh, recognition is that and obviously with the advantages of battery swap and all that you guys know all about that people all over china look up to the police and kids look up to the police people are going to see that the police are driving neil boom great advertising and especially on neil's home turf in shanghai this is going to boost shanghai's sales even further all right now number three is that they launched a new product with very good design and this is and i personally bought this all right i saw this and i'm like i am getting this right away no hesitation and i bought it it's gonna come very soon they launched a fountain pen a self-designed fountain pen it's not a car yes you guys are saying oh my god neil's wasting money again eh, hold on a second i mean like this is just part of the ecosystem well, it's just a small part it's like Apple launching their small product, all right? It's not cheap. It's not cheap. It's like 300-ish RMB for a fountain pen. I mean, like, that's expensive. But, damn, the design of that looks good. I saw that blue color, and I'm like, oh, my God, I could not resist. I bought that right away. I'm worried that it was going to go out of stock. I think it's going to go out of stock. People in the comments saying it looks fantastic. So, bang. We did not see this one coming. You guys might not be so happy, but I'm very happy. A lot of other new owners, very happy. I am definitely going to be using that pen every day. I might even get a second one, all right? The fourth thing that we really got to discuss is the whole JC deal. Now, one of you guys made this excellent comment from my previous video, and I got to share this with you guys. So it does indeed seem that the previous rumors were probably correct. You know, the rumors from like a month or so ago about uh, Neil raising possibly $3 billion. Neil, of course, denied it, saying they got no reportable uh, deals at this moment, at that moment, all right? There might be unreportable deals, uh, things that are behind the table or, or, or behind closed doors that they can't talk about, but, you know, there's nothing that they could report on. So it's not confirming, it's not denying. And the thing with these rumors, there's often or not some inkling of truth towards it and right now looking at it now looking back at it now with this whole entire factory thing going on 
it seems like that rumor might be true. They might actually be looking to get further funding to, of course, buy up the factory and do all that kind of stuff. And the reason for the split is, of course, because Neil's factory number three, number four, is pretty much uh, not using JAC. JAC is also OEMing for other companies. And for them, it seems like it's not that uh, uh, profitable for them to keep on OEMing for Neil. And the thing is, it seems like, all right, and this is also from articles here in China, it seems like this deal is pretty much tailor-made for Neo. It's pretty much asking Neo to buy it, but hey, we'll list it uh, you know, publicly and see if anybody bites. And obviously, I don't think any OEM company is going to uh, actually you know, take over. Neo has been waiting to work for this. Neo has been progressing towards this. It would seem very dumb if Neo doesn't actually pull the trigger and, and just swoop everything up, pay that much money, and get it done and a lot of new owners are saying you know you got to do that because everybody else is pretty much finished with oeming all right it's only pretty much neo and a few other guys that are still doing oems and they progressed to the time where they've got enough uh, of that expertise to get things in their own hands so in that aspect neo could definitely be seeking some more money and it could possibly be that the 1 billion convertible note that they did, right? That 1 billion, that was for the factory and then plus some extra spare change for other stuff. That could be it. And then the 3 billion could just be totally uh, nothing, all right? Or it could be, uh, you know, Neil's just trying to get as much money as they can to secure their future. Either way, we don't want to see dilution. But for Neil, they're in such a rapid growth phase right now. They just deployed recently deployed 2000 swap stations uh it only took like 400 days i think i think that was the stat to get from uh 1000 swap stations to 2000 so that's a pretty impressive record in my opinion we've reached 2000 swap stations and it's not stopping there it's gonna go further all right now obviously in my opinion i think for europe they gotta really deploy more swap stations some of my subscribers over there in europe have complained that, hey, you know, we only have a couple of swap. We got to pay extra for swap. And then we also have to pay extra monthly to be able to swap. And for them, they said it's a very uh, uh, kaput deal, a very uh, unworth it deal. But I think, I think, you know, you're in the early stages. And, and if I'm correct, all right, you might be getting free swaps over there in Europe, maybe like two free swaps a month. I mean, that's that's better than nothing, I think. And you would actually be one of the early adopters, sort of like the founders uh, edition people here in uh, in China. I'm not too sure if you get any recognition for that. Here in China, they did get recognition for being one of the early adopters. I totally think that Neo, if you're the European management team watching this video, give the early adopters some level of recognition, all right? Give them the founder's badge because they're the first people to take delivery of their NEOs within one year of them launching, of you guys launching in Europe. And it's absolutely a good, good deal long term in my opinion because of the benefits that Battery Swap brings. But NEO does need to place more swap stations over there in Europe. I think for a very healthy ecosystem, we need at least 200 swap stations in Europe. I mean 200, I'm no joke, all right? 200, you got to have at least a couple uh, on several of the main highway routes and then also in every single big city uh, at least two or three in every single big city scattered and then also uh, in every small city you also got to have at least one in my opinion and that really gives Neo the competitive advantage that they have here in China that you can go to anywhere by just swapping right now they're not at that point yet and you guys buy neo over there in europe it's early adopter use my invite code all right get bonus neo points if you do also here in china as well but neo definitely still needs a lot of money for further expansion they're still a growth company at the end of the day all right people are thinking path to profitability path to profitability yo they're launching another car company the sub brand alps they're launching another car company the sub sub brand firefly launching two two companies all right two car companies and they're in the phase where the product isn't even 
available yet. It isn't even delivered to customers. And you're talking about profitability. In my honest opinion, all right, not financial advice, we are nowhere near profitability. There's uh, no reasonable path to profitability right now at this moment. So don't even think about it, all right? No one's acting a bit weird. Right now, all you should think about is growth, 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 growth. Think about profitability at once. Everything is done. They've done expanding. They've done uh, the, 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 the second sub-brand and then also everything is done. Then we can worry about profitability and they can tune things. But right now they're building, they're spending a lot of money building things. We're not going to get to profitability anytime soon, all right? If that's your concern, well, I'm sorry. Remember what I said in the start of this video. Neo is becoming a leader in technology here in China. If you can't stick with that, then perhaps you're not ready for the long-term benefits that Neo has to bring to you. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, peace out.